Look at me, I'm on. 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 Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jayla Coriana. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell button so you get every notification. You know, YouTube likes to not send out notifications. You want to make sure you're getting my notifications for new uploads. Girl, I'm so excited about today because we are talking about manifesting your dream life. Manifesting. Law of attraction is real. When you believe it, you think it. When it comes to your mind, it is. Three years ago, I manifested the place that I'm currently living at right now. I created a video titled My Dream New York Condo. I'm literally in New York City, living there, going to tour places that I just dreamed of living at, some places that I wanted to. I just had to go and see. I had to put it in my spirit to be like, I need to step and walk into the place that I want to be at. And three years later, I am currently living, literally living, in my dream place that I didn't even think that was possible. Oh, I did think that it was possible because the thoughts came to my mind which made it possible. Literally worked my butt off to have everything that I want. Now the first step to manifesting your life is believing that you have a purpose on this earth. I don't know if you guys are religious, believe in something higher, it doesn't even matter. I feel like anyone living should know that everything that is of this world, how buildings are made, how we have jobs, how we have to eat, how our body functions, how all of these things, somebody created it. So if you don't believe in anything, believe in something because we're here, we're living, we're breathing, we are alive right now and we're going to die like so yeah I just don't really want to offend somebody that doesn't believe in something you know but if you do we're on the same page and you can manifest the life that you want so things that I do to manifest my life I absolutely love these prayer books like absolutely absolutely love these prayer books I definitely feel like you have to be connected to yourself be willing to learn more about yourself pour into you open your mind wake up girl and push through 50 powerful prayers to jumpstart your day this is volume one I've read this two three times already because I was waiting on volume two to come out wake up girl and push through I am on day 42 literally woke up this morning and this one was powerful this one this is the one that I knew I was like Jayla you're on the right path you're doing exactly what you want to do what you are called to do all that okay let's go we got a prayer you want to manifest you want to believe it you need to pray okay that's step one for me dear God as I grow spiritually I realize that I must stop doubting and waiting for someone else to help me before I start believing in myself enough to put in real work I must stop constantly needing validation and support to boost my confidence in order to make the first step of faith. As I spend time with you this morning, I'm standing on your word that says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. So Father God, I ask that you order my steps and pull out of me something new. Pour into me, Jesus, fresh vision, fresh anointing, and fresh oil. I no longer would tiptoe around. Instead, I will walk with my head held high and boldly declare that in the name of Jesus, I am anointed for this. I am anointed for this assignment. I am anointed for this job. I am anointed for this opportunity. In this season, I will move differently than I've ever done in the past. I will start a new habit of praying first and asking the Holy Spirit to guide me and help me every step of the way with what you have put in my spirit to accomplish. This time, I will remain consistent even when I may not see anything producing from my hard work. This time, when I feel overwhelmed, I will call on the Holy Spirit to be my help, then immediately get back to work because giving up is no longer an option this time when I feel discouraged I will speak your word God until I feel it building me back up Jesus I know that there is a breakthrough attached to my diligence and there is a blessing attached to my obedience deep down inside I truly believe that because you are Lord I am anointed for this in Jesus name amen believing you have to believe in yourself first. You have to have the visions. You have to take away anything in your life that is clouding your vision. That means people, family, I don't care who it is. If you are not clear in your head, you cannot get to where you want to go. If you are not sitting with oneself, allowing once you pray, allowing to hear what you're calling in life, where you're supposed to go. See, a lot of people right now, you're trying to look at somebody else's success and say, okay, I'm going to do that too. That's not for you. That is what God told them to do. So you need to sit with yourself and see what the universe 
universe is calling you to do? What are your passions? What are you driven about? What do you want? And then you gotta start, step back and you gotta envision it. I envisioned this place before I even got here. I envisioned this for me before I even got here. I didn't just have this. I wanted this. I dreamed about this. I went to sleep thinking about this. Like, for years. We're three years later. Now, three years later and a whole lot of Florida's in the windows apartments too. You know, the New York one was my favorite. Your girl is currently living here in Atlanta, Georgia. When I lived in New York, I love my experience in New York. I was there for four years after college. I went to the Fashion Institute of Technology, woo woo. Graduated with my advertising and marketing um, degree. Stayed in New York for four years, chased my dreams, lived in the places that I wanted to live at, and ultimately with the pandemic was a push to move to, relocate to a new place, which was Atlanta, Georgia. And I am here, really wanting to explore all that this place has to offer. And yeah, let me turn you guys right back. I like called an Uber because we're, I'm late. Hello? Hello, for Gangler? Hi, yes, I'm coming down the elevator now. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Coming down. So, you guys, back to what I was saying. So, living here in Atlanta, Georgia, I have not had a car. This is my second year here now. I have not had a car. People always ask this question like, if you move to Atlanta, do you have to have a car? Do you not? Personally, I work from home. My job, I work from home. I live in the middle of everything, so I don't need a car. But being down south, you do need a car. So it's like, do you, do you not? If it's places that you have to get to, you need a car. Luckily, I have been, you know, making way with like Ubering and stuff. And I'm a city girl. I came from New York where I was used to Ubering anyways. I did have a car. I let my car go when I was in New York. So in New York, basically, it's either you're taking a train or being stuck in traffic or getting tickets for parking or paying $600 rent just to park your car. Like your car has rent. So when I had my car, a lot of times my car was in North Carolina at my mom's house just sitting because I didn't really want it in New York. It gets being and banged up like even part you can't have your car parked and somebody gonna bang on your car like so i was getting dents and stuff and then the how much it costs like the, the parking your car in new york costs more than the rent so it just didn't make sense for me to have my car anymore so i let my car go not knowing that i was moving to atlanta if i knew that i was moving to a down south state where i would like people actually drive i'm pretty sure i wouldn't have got rid of my car but i didn't even think i was moving out of new york at all <laughs> So yeah, I let go of my car. My car was just parked at my mom's house and you know how moms are. My mom was like, your car's in the driveway, park blocking my other cars. I'm like, can it please just stay in the driveway like a little bit longer? But ultimately it was like, okay, I don't see myself using my car. But we're here in Atlanta and now I'm at the place where I'm like, okay, maybe I should get a car. So right now we're about to go pick up our car. I was looking on Turbo, found a lot of cute cars. I need to test drive some cars because I do don't know what car I need. I don't know if, like, I, it's just so many questions. Like, am I gonna be driving the car a lot? Do I really need a car? Do I just want a car right now? So I thought the best thing was to test out some cars. So we're gonna pick up my dream car right now. I'm super excited. This Uber is gonna cancel on me if we talk any longer. So let's go pick up our whip. All right, guys, my Uber is here. Hello, Hello Jayla? You. Yes. Dream car, got the keys to the car. Your girl's in here. First things first, let's put the top down. Okay, y'all, no top down yet because I don't want to mess up my hair just yet. I'm blowing in the wind. But I just got the Mercedes C300 convertible. She's so freaking cute. I love her. I'm about to go home. I don't have my charger piece. So I'm about to go home, get my charger piece, and then come back out and talk about the specs of this car because she's cute. But I'm going to test drive her first. I'm going to see what's up. I need to like get used to the car let me figure out what the hell is going on get comfy put my seatbelt on take a little drive because I'm, I'm 20 minutes from my house so i'm about to drive it see how i'm feeling driving it and then i'll hit you guys back in just a second sec okay Guys, so 
So I had to come home and get some Zara bags. I did a huge haul on some recent pickups that I got from Zara, but then when I tried on some pieces, it wasn't really hitting like that. So I'm about to do a return, and then I needed my car charger so I can plug up to the car. So I have this now. Before we continue running our errands, another thing that I want to see if I can get done today. So my nails are super cute, but this one broke. So I don't know if I'm gonna just switch to another color or just get this one nail fixed because these are super cute. I definitely really like them, but I'm like, maybe I want another color. So that's what I'm doing. About to do my Target run. Hopefully I'm just in there quicking out and I don't blind photos on. I'm not trying to see anything. And since I was in the house, I was like, might as well make something to eat. I had cooked the other day, so I just have some steak, uh, vegetable, and rice. So I'm about to eat really quick, and then we're gonna go back out to the car. I'm gonna tell you all my thoughts on it and everything. So let me eat a little bit, and I'll see you in a sec. Mercedes-Benz C300 2020, my dream car. You know, I was thinking my dream car would be like a little cute convertible. Now, after driving the car, I realized actually I don't like my hair blowing in the wind like that. Maybe if I'm on a boat or something, but if I'm in the car, do I really need a convertible? So that was one of the big questions. Does Jayla need a convertible car? Let's go on the inside of her and I'll talk to you guys a bit more. All right, guys, so Mercedes is my dream car. We are inside of one. In my mind, I thought I love the C300, the convertible. Your girl like me need a little vroom vroom so she can put down the hatch and like let her hair blow. But like I'm more concerned about like is my curls gonna drop, you know? So I don't think that a convertible is for me. Maybe if it's like my leisure car, I take her out sometimes. But as a everyday car, I'm not really feeling like this is my dream car anymore. I really, really like it. Lo actually love it. But even down to being comfortable in the seat, I feel like it's cars that have better seating, like how you sit. I don't know, you be having to sit in a car and actually feel it. And then kind of like more so an updated navigation system going on in here. And maybe I'm biased because Tesla just has like the touchpad and everything. And I'm like, do I need a Tessie? This car goes for about $50,000, and this is the one that we're testing out. I'm gonna keep testing it out and driving her around. I'm still getting used to everything. So these are just my initial thoughts, don't mind me. The outside of this car gives me everything that I need. I absolutely love it. The top is a navy blue. And then this is the trunk space. Another thing that I was concerned about. So this is the trunk space. Like two of my Zara bags back here. And that's pretty tiny, especially because I get a lot of groceries and packages and stuff. The fact that only like two Zara bags fit back here comfortably is kind of, you know, don't really, don't really know if I'm loving that part, but such a cute car. And look inside the car, I love the purple lights going, going. That's what the inside looks like. I need to figure out how to put the wheel, steering wheel down. How do we put the steering wheel down? And then even like up here, like my camera doesn't fit anywhere. All right, I'm about to go to the nail shop. I put the top down because I have to experience this. I have to drive with it down. So I'm about to see how this feels. I know I can put like the heat on. It's a little chilly. I don't, is it seat warmers? It is seat warmers. Okay, I got my seat warmers on. Alright guys, so one thing, the seat warmers warm the fuck up. I put the windows up just because the wind and with the windows up right here, you guys see the windows are up, I feel great. So I'm just in the city, driving to go get these nails done. I'm actually, the convertible is growing on me. I think I actually like it. I just had to let go of my curls and just say, forget it. So I'm liking the convertible right now, especially because I can be warm on the inside and then not be blown on so hard. So I just want to give you guys that update while I'm at the light. I'm about to turn on my music and listen to it and jam out and enjoy the convertible. 
All right, guys, I made it to my destination. I am at Buckhead Nail Studio. The wind did, I had to like tuck my pieces behind my head and it, they just kept flapping, but it wasn't that bad of a drive. I really enjoyed the air. It feels really good cruising down Peachtree in a convertible, listening to your music, like jamming out. That felt really good, so I really liked it. But let's put her back up. You have to continue holding it down the whole time until it locks. So yeah, now the car is secure. Get the key, turn off the car, push the start, and we're ready to go get our nail fixed. I also haven't figured out how to make the steering wheel be lower because I would love to sit higher. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm making me sit higher. Okay, so that was a thing. I wanted me to sit higher. Now I know how to make me sit higher. I feel like I'm like higher up to the wheel. I still want this wheel to come down. So I'll figure that out. But let's go get our nail fixed. Next question, should I just get my nail fixed or should I? I think I'm gonna keep this set a little bit longer because they are so freaking cute. I don't think I'm done with them. Let's go. Okay, your girl parks and she is ready to get her nails fixed. You guys know I had to stop and let Maya do the hike girl up. I was asking him, I was like, should I change? I was like, no, I'm not done with these yet. These are too cute. Cheers. <laughs> leaving out of the shop my nails are fixed alrighty I don't like that it's nowhere for me to put you guys when I get in this bitch and I'm definitely not riding with the top down on the way back so let me see how I feel about riding with the top down in my music plan and then I'll let you guys know when I get where am I going I was gonna stop by Zara I don't have time to stop by Zara anymore what time is it it's 159 I could stop by Zara I'm about to stop by Zara okay I just don't have no time to go in there and buy nothing so this is perfect. Go return it and come back, girl. No, no friends. Alright, guys, made it to the mall. This trunk space is really small, but I'm about to make this return. All right guys, so I'm back in the house. Test driving my dream car today was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it, especially the convertible part. But I just don't know if in my everyday life, that's the car for me. I'm test driving the car for two more days. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about the car and me whipping it. Do you feel like that's the car for me? I definitely wanna test drive some more cars, especially because it's so many cars on Toro here in Atlanta. And now I'm indecisive. I don't know what I want and like I said at the beginning of this video, you have to know what you want to manifest it into your life. So at this point, I don't know what car I want. <laughs> I'm indecisive and I need to really get in the seats of these cars so I can be like okay this is the one for me this is where I, what I see myself in this is what I see myself driving around Atlanta in, coming home and parking the car and getting groceries in so yeah I don't know I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>